Okay, so I'm doing both of these videos together just because it makes it easier for me. So welcome back. Um, if you are back to check out what car I have bought, welcome. Um, I like to do the whole tease thing because I like it when YouTubers do it as well. When they sort of cut off at the end, you're like, oh, God damn it. It makes you come back and it makes you have a look. Um, and it builds up a little bit more of a surprise, which is what I like. Obviously, I've had a few messages in the past when people go in, uh, sort of, or, or I like the way you, you sort of didn't tell us, or I like the way you cut off and stuff like that. Um, so I know some people like it, I know some people hate it, but yes. So I'm actually going to show you the proper clip now, the full clip. It isn't much, as, I, as you saw yesterday, it was really a tiny little snippet, but it's all I could say from the clips. Um, from that evening. So I'm going to show you those clips now. We also took some clips um, of Sunday um, when we were sort of cleaning the car and getting it ready and stuff like that. So yes, I'm finally going to reveal the car, the new car for my channel um, for the time being. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it, it depends on how much I like it, or I don't know whether I'm going to be sort of mine out, getting it back on the road. I can't have, oh, I can't really afford to run two cars, so I don't really think that's an option as of yet. But we will see what the future brings. But I hope you guys like it. So finally, this time, no teasing, no messing. Um, have a look at the new car for the channel. Oh, here it is. Ta-da. It's the last time you're stepping out of it. Be gone when you come back. Yeah, it's a trick. <laughs> yeah. Brad, I hear somebody. Oh, looking good. Knackered. Bradley gave up helping me in the end, so it was just me. But now we're going to have a little party for Harrison because it's his birthday, so I'll catch up with you after. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Clear 197 in red. If you don't know already, it is Bradley's car. Just to sort of give it a tiny little backstory, Bradley's had it for about four, between a year to two years. He'll, I'm sure he'll correct me so I'm a little bit more specific. But he, So he's only for a while. He's kept it maintained. He's just... It's just been sort of through an MOT in service, so it's got all the bits done, so it's all ready to rumble. Um, I know it does need a cam belt change very soon. It isn't up to the mileage on the cam belt, but it is up to the age of the cam belt, so we do need to get that done soon. Um, so that's a bit of an expense straight off the bat, but that's all right. It makes for a cheeky little video and a price comparison of um, what it costs on the 182, doesn't it? But yes, and he is on his way to America for a few months, so I think it's sort of like a very big, sort of traveling experience he's going to go over there and see his partner um and yes i've obtained the car off him whether he comes back whether he's going to want it back um or whether i am going to sell it for him in the meantime or obviously i'm going to keep sort of communicating with him and see what he wants um but if not i can just go and stick it back up my mum's for him if you want it but yes i'm really excited hope you guys are really excited keeping renault in the channel um staying with that french life and obviously it'd be really good for sort of comparison videos Generally, just me driving the car for the first time and driving the car a little bit more as a kind of a, not a daily in a way, but more of a weekend car because I use, obviously I get picked up for work and stuff like that, which is ideal. Which saved me some money, but for a weekend car and stuff like that, I want to experience it, I want to see what it's like because there's quite a lot that's actually different with the car, um, shape-wise, running-wise and stuff like that, um, for me to get used to. I've only ever been in the car about two times. Um, I think it's louder. It sounds quite a lot louder and a few people told me it's louder just to annoy me a little bit. Um, but so it'd be good to get sort of shots of the car, the, what mods it's got, exhausts, 
filming and stuff like that and see see sort of how it sounds from the back and get GoPros all sort of around it. And yeah, just do general content on the 197. I don't think there's another channel with a clear 197 or RS200. I don't really know. Um, I had a little look earlier and I couldn't see one. Um, so I think that'd be quite good for YouTube as well. If it may bring in some more Renault fanboys from that side of life, from the Mark III. Um, and get them onto the channel and get watching my videos and hopefully it'll be good for you guys to see comparison videos and stuff like that also go down to Haynes regularly with all the 182s as well so it might be quite good to do some sort of clear 182 versus clear 197 there's loads of opportunities it brings me a lot more content that I can do for you guys on the channel as well so yes do let me know down in the comments what you think I should do to the car what I should well, so not do too, first of all. I want to experience the car. I want to see what it's like and stuff like that. So anything in general that, first of all, um, but obviously I'll do more of a show around the car and talk about the mods and stuff like that um, in the near future and talk about its history as well because it's got quite a big history behind it, uh, I think. But yes, I'm really excited, as you probably tell, with my big smile. I'm glad you guys now know. Unfortunately, it wasn't a turbo kit for my car. It wasn't anything massive for the for, for the 182, um, but maybe that will come in the future. I, well, I hope it will come into the future. I would like a a low boost kit or something like that, I think would be quite cool in a car like this. But I don't think I'm gonna keep both. At the end of the day, one is gonna go, so that might add a bit of suspense as well, whether it be mine or whether it'll be the one, it, uh, or whether it will be the Red 197. I keep saying mine, they're both kind of mine now. Um, so yeah, the 182 or the 197, I don't know which one's gonna stay at the end of the day, um, but yes, just add a bit more suspense to the channel, I think. It'd be nice to have two cars for a bit, Mine is going to be off the road. Mine's going to be sawn as soon as I get a V5 through for the 197. Uh, mine's going off the road into the garage for maintenance, like inlets, MS Custom Engineering, sorting them out. I want to sort out the sort of drainage issue. The water's still getting inside, so I need to sort that out. I think it's mainly the scuttle panel. I'm not getting any more water in the back anymore. Um, so we just need to get under there and sort that out. But I've got my lovely little garage where the clear 197 is now. Um, it's just hibernating in there until all that paperwork comes through and I get a bit of time to to sort it out but maybe within the next couple of weeks um that will be on the road instead but yes it is well it's pretty much the same i know that i think well i don't know i think they're a little bit slower a little bit but it's all the other things it's all new it's all a little bit different um and yeah but we'll talk through it i'm gonna stop mumbling on about it now but yes do let me know down in the comments how you feel what you want to see don't get too upset with me if you don't like the 197. I think it'll be good to have a little look for me and for you to see what they're like. But yeah, thanks for tuning in again. Like, drop those comments and subscribe guys and I'll see you very soon.